from Halo Couture Hair Extensions. Today we're going to give you a tutorial on how to apply and install tape and extensions. Using the rat tail comb, I'm just going to make two parts in the back, just like so. And then we're going to section off two parts in the front, creating four different quadrants. Beginning at the bottom on either side, measure 3 fourths of an inch, approximately 2 fingers from the client's hairline. Your first extension will start here. As you see, we've sectioned the hair into 4 quadrants. Now we're going to show you how to apply the tape. You're going to take the tape, reveal the tape by pulling off the tab. It comes off very easy. You're going to take a section of hair equaling the amount of the hair in the actual extension. You're going to make sure that you have a very clean line. You don't want any hairs that are not in that clean line. You don't want them to pull. Hold that hair up, placing the tape and holding on the sides, creating a flat surface, putting down that hair and smoothing it with that rat tail comb. You also want to make sure that it is going with the curvature of the head so that way when it's going up and down, it's very comfortable and it's not tugging at any hairs on the scalp. You're going to take your second piece, revealing the adhesive. And all you're going to do is simply lay that piece directly on top of the previous. As you can see, it's going with the shape of her head and we're just gonna pinch that together. There are no tools or heat necessary, and it's gonna be in there nice and secure and seamless. So as you can see when putting up Melissa's hair, it's gonna be flawless with nothing being revealed. As you can see when I placed the tape, I had some little stragglers that I made sure to section out. If you do have any hairs that are not in this line, make sure that you section that out so she can have free range to do what she wants with her hair just as if it's her natural hair. Depending on the density of the client's hair is going to depend on how much you want to leave between each section. So with Melissa having thicker hair, we're going to take smaller sections so we can put more extensions in her hair. You're going to do this same process to both sides. Again, making sure to create very clean sectioning. Now we're ready to start her brick lay pattern, placing three pieces above the two that we already have. Depending on fullness desired, you will place each tab approximately one fourth of an inch from the last, brick laying as many pieces as needed per client.
here, we're doing the brick laying process. Instead of laying four pieces in one line with this row right here, you always want to leave at least two finger spaces between the hairline and the extension so that way it's comfortable not around the hairline so she can wear it up and down without seeing anything. So what I did is I actually took another section just a little above the two pieces that I had here and kind of overlapped these two pieces so that way she can still have full movement of her hair without seeing anything. So here we are on our third row of brick laying the extensions. We're going to be working probably about five different rows. Typically that's an average head, approximately about two inches above her ears. Making sure that she has enough hair to cover any of the tabs. Now that we finished the last row of the brick lay pattern, we're going to move on to the sides. Continuing with the pattern that we already have, making sure that we are approximately about two inches above the ear, so that way if they're wearing any type of glasses, sunglasses, it's gonna sit on their head comfortably. And when doing the sides, make sure that they are going with the curvature of her natural hairline. It's important when doing the sides that you connect the back and the sides to where there's no gaps between. So we're going to do one to connect the side to the back. Placing this one between the back section and the side section, it's creating a seamless flow without any disconnection or gaps. That's where the brick layering comes in handy because you're not ever going to have any spaces between. It's going to blend really nice and naturally. So I finished up with Melissa's tape-ins and the main things when putting these in is making sure that they're nowhere around the hairline. So as you can see, if Melissa's doing anything with her hair, you're not gonna be able to see anything. There's nothing around her hairline. 